Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com helping you create something awesome today. So today we're gonna to talk about responsive web design and what that actually is. I'm gonna actually explain what we mean by responsive web design in a way that most people can understand. So when we talk about responsive websites, we're talking about websites that are meant to adapt to the devices they're being displayed on. So that means that whether you're using a desktop or a laptop or a smartphone, that the website is going to adjust and change the content and the images and how it's laid out to make sense for your device instead of just making it smaller or bigger accordingly. It's gonna reposition things that make sense in the format of whatever device you happen to be using. Responsive web design has become a really popular trend lately and it's a really interesting approach because the alternative would be adaptive web design, which is something we've seen more of up until now, which is where you get a specific different website for the mobile version. Often you'll see something like M dot whatever the website is for a mobile only version and it won't have all the features or functionality of the desktop version that you'll see on something like the iMac or on your laptop. Well, now we're seeing responsive websites where you still keep most of the functionality and it's just changing and reorganizing and repositioning things using uh, some advanced features that we call cascading style sheets in terms of manipulating that thing from an image and layout standpoint in the back end of the code and with a little bit of JavaScript in there as well. So that's what it really is. And I'm trying to explain it in a way that is not overly technical, but is still accurate so that most people, especially new designers can follow along because I think it's important for you to develop good web design habits. One of the things I like about Adobe Dreamweaver, and I know coding purists hate when I bring this up, but one of the things I do like about Adobe Dreamweaver is the fact that if you were just getting started or if you need to do something quick because it's a landing page for a client and not a big complicated website, that you could really just go ahead and start with a responsive web design layout. And when you're building it, it will already adapt and work for mobile devices or that you could start with a mobile first design and it will adapt and work for desktops. So I think that that's really interesting and cool. And I think it's great that Dreamweaver puts people in a position who are learning web design to start with the habit of making responsive websites that are mobile friendly because we're increasingly living in a mobile first world. So. That's my explanation of responsive web design. I also have the more technical definition in the description below if you're interested in that. So like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Ask me your questions about web design and what tutorials you want from me in the comment section. As always, you guys, thanks so much for watching and don't forget, create something awesome today.